happy vlog venturing and also happy October since that is what month it is now. Uh, my eye is watering and uh, yeah, this is a great time. Um, I didn't really vlog last week because it was a little too crazy. Um, too much stuff going on and a lot of people in and out of our house. So I just didn't deal with it. Um, I have like one clip of me working on the entertainment center, but then I got my sander in the mail and actually started on sanding it and I didn't even record that. So, oh well, but I am going to be sanding today some more and I will get clips of that. Um, but for now I'm going to eat food and put on some makeup because I also got in all new makeup and I still don't totally know how to use all of it. So I'm going to be practicing and it's probably going to look bad, but that's okay because don't judge me. Okay, so here we are. I don't know what I'm doing. That's kind of the case for pretty much everything in my life. But I'm, I already tried to film this part once and I just kept talking because of course I did. Um, so instead of just talking, I'm going to, you know, put my makeup on. Um, the issue still comes up that I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I'll just talk through it. It's fine. Um, so I got, okay, so there's this little, yeah, you can totally see that, poreless putty primer from e.l.f. I have exclusively e.l.f. products for, like, the face. Part of me talking so long the first time I tried to film this was me trying to explain why I have only e.l.f. products, but whatever. I literally, like, I don't know how to put this on. I don't want to put my finger in there, but I don't know how else to do it. I did just wash my hands, but, like, I just... I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, that feels weird. It, well, I was going to say it feels like Play-Doh. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like Play-Doh. Don't listen to me. Okay. But since this is the poreless primer, I'm going to be pretty much just putting this one, like, around my nose and my cheeks. Uh, because, you know... It's where I got the worst uh, pores. The problem that I have though, um, which I'm sure will come up with this makeup as well, um, I just have several skin conditions and it makes makeup kind of difficult. I've I've always had this problem and I honestly don't think that there's like a makeup that can fix it. And that that's just kind of the way it is. Um, but I have I haven't used any of these yet. I have been using like pretty much the rest of the stuff um, for the past week. So like I do, and I used to do my makeup. So it's like it's not that I'm a complete idiot. I'm just like a half idiot, um, and. I definitely need to practice some things like I got liquid eyeliner I haven't used liquid eyeliner in more than seven years because I think that the last time I did have a liquid eyeliner I was in middle school for some reason um, but so like practicing with that because um, that's rough um, Okay, so now I have a different, here. I have this one, this is the matte putty primer, and I guess I'll just use a different finger. 
Um, and this one's going on my eyes because, um, like I said, I have been kind of using some of the products, or, well, most of the products, except for these particular primers. Um, and when I'm using the eyeshadow, it does still kind of, um, smudge, bleed, I don't know, it gets clumped up in the wrinkles of my eyelid, so maybe this one will help with that, I don't know, um, but the, the main issue that I have that I got sidetracked on talking about two seconds ago, um, so because of my skin conditions, um, it pretty much doesn't matter what makeup I use, it's honestly just not ever going to look fabulous. And I could be wrong, maybe there's like some professional out there that would like laugh and call me a fool and whatever and be like, you clearly haven't tried this makeup, but also that makeup is probably way more expensive than I would ever be willing to pay money for. So that's also part of it. Um, but what happens is, um, hopefully it's not super noticeable on camera because it is something that I'm a little self-conscious about, but, um, I have a thing where, um, my skin just kind of looks like scales, um, because I have chronic dry skin, um, which you know, some people are like, oh yeah, just, you know, dry skin, whatever, but like, my skin really, <laughs> oh, my voice, um, it really does just kind of like, look like scales, or like, you know, like snake skin or something, um, because there's just like all these cracks in it, and I mean like, one thing you can definitely see is like, my hands, like, again, not as noticeable on camera, but like I was made fun of a lot when I was little for um, having old lady hands, um, which, you know, not wrong, still rude, but like, yeah, yeah, my hands really age me. <laughs> I think that for the most part, like even the lines on my face, like people still for some reason think that I'm like 18 or something, um, which I guess, fine, whatever. I can't change what your automatic, like, gut reaction is of mm, what my age range is, but, like, um, it just, you know, my hands look pretty bad, and to a lesser degree, that is what the rest of my body <laughs> looks like, um, but one part where it is also very noticeable is around my nose. And so pretty much any makeup I put on, like for a long time, I actually would just not even put any kind of foundation on. Um, because my nose would get cracked and, or not cracked, but like, you can see all my pores, how nice. So I don't know if it's, like, super noticeable. Um, and, like, to a degree, like, yes, it's skin. Like, everyone's skin is going to, like, not look perfect. That's how humans are. But, like, there's, like, not a makeup that can fix this about my nose. Like, there's just, like, lines all down my nose. And typically, you know, it's like you see people with, like, such nice makeup and like their skin actually looks like not necessarily flawless all the time but like yeah you can't really see those fine lines that's not my case at all like the makeup almost makes the lines on my nose worse which is why for a long time i went without doing anything like when you even when I was wearing makeup, I'd, like, try to avoid my nose because it honestly just made it look worse. Um, but anyway, that was a lot of me talking still. Um, but I do have the primer on. I mean, I don't have it covered, covering my entire face. But I think I got the 
highlight areas. Um, you know, I don't really feel them, if that makes sense, which I think is like the point, but, and like I don't super see them, which again, I think is like kind of the point, but they, they do have some color to them, and so like I can kind of tell, but, but other than that, so those are the primers done. 